Good morning everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we have another um, unboxing slash test flight. Um, with the winter months approaching, uh, sometimes it's not the easiest to get out and you know, enjoy the cold. Sometimes it's too cold, sometimes it's snowing and whatnot. So, um, drone enthusiasts still like to fly. So they make a thing, I've had a couple of these little guys on my channel so far. This is a, a Nano. There's the um, Holy Stone HS210, several little indoor things, but that doesn't really quite get the whole feel of it. Once you do the FPV thing, that's kind of where you want to be, <clears throat> if you like it, which most people do. I even uh, I took my boss for a ride on my goggles yesterday at lunch, and he was amazed. It was pretty funny. But um, we have a, a, a whoop with a camera on it today. There we got, it's just a little cheap one. It's a uh, Beta, Beta FPV 65 S Lite. So, what that is, uh, Beta FPV, that's the name of that. Um, it's brushed, so it's made for indoors, not outside. It uh, still does have the camera on it. Uh, 65 millimeter distance from prop to prop, whatever. You guys probably know that, but this is the little guy that we're going to be checking out today. A little whoop. It's pretty cool. A little foam detector to keep him in. There's also a user manual and help QR code scanner that comes equipped with the package. Uh, in addition to that, I did get um, the rest of what they recommended. I got this on Amazon. Uh, I think all together was just over 100 bucks. You can get this little thing for like $45 by itself. Extra set of batteries are around $25. Uh, charger is a little bit more than the batteries. But I went ahead and I got <coughs> all three of them. So we have the drone, the charger, and the batteries. The charger here comes to two pieces. There's the main wall plug part. Set that aside for a minute. And then there is also the board that it plugs into, <clears throat> which is actually pretty solid and sturdy. I like it. It's got a nice design. Um, it's got a 3S, 4S for the input on it. You can change that off on for the switches. Then you can change between um, high voltage of the 4.2 for each and each and every individual plug. Plus, in addition to the 1S, it's got the micro on the side of it. So all together, this little thing has 12 plugs on it. I don't know if you want to try to charge that many batteries at once. That's worth a shot. You only live once. <clears throat> so, got that, and this is the pack of batteries that I got. A bunch. Because anybody in FPV world knows that these things go very quickly. And you get like two or three minutes out of them. If you're lucky, I'm sure it's probably even less for some of these with the smaller ones. But, uh, more beta battery, 1S. 4.35 volt, 1.11 amp, 30 by 60 C's. So there's that. I got these for, it was like seem to be all in decent condition. The one looked a little bent at the end when I first took it out. That's why I'm looking at them real quick. Seemed to be at an angle, but they look all right. So I'm gonna give this a uh, tester here, shot. Put them in. So, in 
just make sure that you have the notch going the right direction. Try it on, plug them in. Then it'll be green. Obviously, there's nothing there but red when uh, it's charging, and then turn green when it's done. I did use a uh, separate charger already to go ahead and charge. Try to test that real quick. The battery that's in the drone to begin with. So we're gonna give that a quick test flight in this same video and see how that works out. Six out of the eight batteries charging. Bam! Oh, that would suck. <laughs> anyway, um, set this aside. I just have to do that. It's a thing. So you have the uh, remote here. You have this bound to the uh, Tyrannus QX7. One thing you'll want to do though is um, specifically to do this, I know it says on the front, Beta 65S Lite, ready to fly, great for beginners. Two out of those three statements are correct. And that would be the first and the third. Ready to fly, it's not really ready to fly right out of the box. In addition to needing the controller, you will also need to get the light module RF they don't tell you anything about that until you get it they kind of it's in the ads but it's not really out there um, I'm also not the uh, most um, familiar with all this stuff so maybe that's just a given thing I have another whoop that just hooks right up to it so I originally got these got two of them one for me one for my girlfriend and then after getting them realized that this was needed, so sat around for another week waiting for it to show up in the mail. <clears throat> anyway, I'm going to go ahead and turn on the controller. It's on. I'm going to plug this guy in. It should pulsate at the back, whatever. I'm going to go through the setup on this in a different video. I'm not going to do that right now. It's, it's not the hardest thing, but it is slightly, uh, slightly in-depth. So anyways, when you get this hooked up and you already have your radio set up and everything, you're going to select your model, have him hooked up, and then you just take and have both sticks, press them down and to the left and hold them for about four seconds and you'll see when it binds that the light will turn off well actually stay solid bam okay so he's on there we're gonna take and just try to get him up and around bring him back one time this one uh, is a different one mine is uh, sitting off to the side I have to clean him I crashed him at work yesterday process of trying to show up. Very come on, even out.
There he is. Okay. Not bad. It's actually pretty fun. Um, I've had him hook, the other one hooked up to my uh, Fat Shark uh, V5 Dominator goggles. Works pretty good with that. Um, it likes to skip the channel when you're searching for it, so sometimes you got to do it manually instead of put it on automatic. I don't know if the signal's not the strongest for it or whatever, but um, so there. Yeah. We have these charging. Um, that seems to be working fine. I don't notice any random heat or any flickering or anything from any of the batteries. It is able to charge them all at the same time, which is nice. I need to get one like that for my bigger drone. But, uh, so that's the Beta 65S light right out of the box. Um, one charge on this battery. Got a bunch more to go, so I know there'll be a lot more videos to come. I uh, just wanted to share this with you guys today, and I'll have a video for the radio setup and everything like that coming up soon. Thanks for watching. Have a good day.